pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Fedger, Colorado. It's yours truly, Marlon Bledman. And today, guys, right behind me, you are looking at our 2021 Freightliner Summit Hauler Conversion M2112. It's also hooked up to, right now, this Gooseneck uh, 2004 uh, featherweight uh, four horse with living quarters trailer. And today, guys, want to bring you this beast. Let's take a quick look underneath the hood. So in our Freightliner M2112s, we carry the Detroit Diesel DD13, and it's also partnered with our Allison six-speed automatic transmission. This unit produces about four, 505 horsepower. Let me just repeat that, 505 horsepower and about 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. One thing I like about Freightliner is the, way, um, the fact that once you open this hood, everything is clearly labeled, which makes this very easy to, to kind of figure out what's what. Um, but if you guys are not mechanics, let the mechanics work on that. And one thing I like about this unit as well is what we added onto the, the back of the engine here. We have LED lighting, so if you guys decide to work on your engine at night or figure out what's going on, uh, that light is super bright at night, so you guys don't have to worry about forgetting your touch lights at home. Just gonna close this unit here. And while closing this unit, I want you guys to kind of see that. Like I'm pushing on it very lightly, and of course, if a strong wind comes while you're working on it, this will not crush you. You see how big this hood is? Um, this is a very um, great feature to have. Um, so when you guys are working on it and a strong wind comes, it does have this soft close. So, um, and another thing too, on either side of this unit, uh, we have these uh, tie downs here. Uh, basically, um, this holds down that hood. So ensure that you do both sides because at the end of the day, you don't want to be driving with one of those unhooked. So I know it might be able to, you know, hold that down, but you don't want something to happen and it snaps it. So ensure that you do both sides of the, of the hood, make sure it's strapped down. Another thing I wanted to point out is how big that grill is in the front. It's a little bigger than our 106s. Um, so you see that Summit Hauler sign, and this one was designed by the C9 company. And the reason why we have a bigger hood on this unit is that we need more air intake into the into the radiator. We have a bigger radiator because of the bigger engine, so uh, we need to have a bigger grill. Um, another thing I like to mention is the three-piece bumper on this unit as well. It just makes it very easy and affordable in terms of if in case you're in an accident and you damage one part of the, the bumper, you could just replace that one side so you don't have to replace the full bumper like certain pickups and stuff have. So the three-piece bumper does come in very handy. One good thing, again, that's brand new on the 2021s is the LED lighting. This is ni nice, bright white lights, uh, very awesome to have. Looking at our front tires, those are a little bigger than our 106s. Our 106 does come with 255 80R22.5s. On our 112s, we have 275 80 R22.5. So this is a bigger tire. And of course, between our tires here, we have our auto balance system. It are on all four corners of the truck. So this disc right between there actually saves you uh, more life on your tires, give you a smoother ride, and of course, auto balances the vehicle while driving. Looking at our diamond plate stairs here, we have our, this uh, chrome, here is uh, our engine block heater. Right next to it is our trickle charger for our batteries. Coming down here is our DEF system, which is our DEF fluid. Um, it does, on our 112s, does come with a 13 gallon diesel um, DEF tank, not diesel. And in our 106s, it does come with a, a six gallon um, DEF tank. Right over here, we have our 50 gallon, one of our 50 gallon uh, diesel tanks. We have one on each side, so a good way to, to figure out how much gallons you have in our, in those tanks, you can see total gallons, 50 US gallons, and then of course you have one 
189 liters. So it will actually tell you the capacity and it always tell, it also gives you a little warning here fill not more than 95 percent of total capacity so you will fill a little bit underneath uh, that 50 gallons so um, that that's what it recommend don't fill more than 95 percent of the full capacity on this unit uh, the way our summit haulers are put together we have tons of storage on this unit as well we have three compartments on each side just want to show you guys what those compartments look like these two front ones does connect, so you can actually see my hands passing through here. Um, this is all seal proof, so no moisture will enter this bay um, and destroy your personal items in here. It does come with an air supply, and that air supply here is for putting air in your tires and your trailers. Um, saves you a trip to the gas station to put air or to a to a tire shop. But again, if your if your tires are leaking way more than it's supposed to then you go replace those tires of course um, but that's just a nice little added feature to have on those units just in case you never know you might need some air in your water toys and stuff like that if you do go to if you do decide to bring your boat and stuff to the to the lake and stuff like that or to the beach wherever you are located um, another thing with those storage boxes they all lockable so they all have keys to enter and we have a little protection here so if you just turn that you have that key hole right there. All those storage boxes are lockable. Looking at the bed, uh, we do, this one is hooked up with a gooseneck ball. Um, we have in the past uh, convert this into a fifth wheel, put the Hensley trailer saver hitch on there. Uh, this allows you to have airbags on that hitch. So you can convert it to a, a gooseneck or a fifth wheel um, with airbags. So. Uh, we do have parts here and the labor can be done here as well So if that's something you might be interested in converting this gooseneck uh, um, Ball to a fifth wheel hitch. We have all parts and labor here located at this location It does come with a Voyager camera system. Uh, this is the camera that comes install um, It does come with one camera, but you could put an additional three cameras So a total of four cameras could be on this truck at one time. So um, we do have a mill system on that side that will allow you to put an additional two cameras if you wanted to put a camera on your trailer. Um, one of those wires will come through that trailer and plug into that uh, Voyager system um, camera on this side here. On the back bumper, it does have a 20,000 pound hitch. Right now we have a a plate on here so you guys can't really see that hitch right now but it is a nice little plate to kind of make it have a clean look um, and not exposing that bumper that bumper pool but it does come with a seven pin and a four pin hookup down here to plug in your trailer and of course we have that seven pin and four pin hookup here as well for a trailer like this right now we didn't hook up that trailer but uh, you guys could actually see where it's located just for video purposes, you know, we don't plug in that trailer. And of course it does have chain tie downs as well. For the purpose of the video, we didn't uh, hook up that, those chains to those uh, chain links up there. All right, let's take a look inside now, kind of go over some stuff. So let's start with the back seat. So the back seat uh, is a bench. Uh, we'll seat three people very comfortable um, This bench actually turns into a bed. Um, so just by a push of a button Most times it's located right underneath the bench for us and of course it will lay all the way flat And just having something like that just makes it super easy and affordable So you don't have to rent a motel room just to to rest for a couple hours um, you could just pull to a truck stop and Kind of lay this down to a bed it's very comfortable that's just something summit hauler and transwest wanted to make sure that all our customers are comfortable in those seats right above that we have an entertainment system dvd screen and this is separate from the uh, sound system on the truck so you have your own personal headphones so you don't disturb the driver the driver self could have his own music playing while um, the passengers in the back could entertain themselves um, without interrupting or you know the driver could have his own entertainment while the passengers have their own entertainment as well so quick give and take so right between those seats um, you guys could see two switches 
right between those seats. Um, those switches are for lights um, when we go inside. Um, I'll show you guys how that operates. And right below that, we have two USB ports here as well. So a nice little feature to have. So let's take a look inside. One good thing I like about the inside of our trucks is the way we design our dash. Um, it kind of curves in for the driver, so the driver don't. Normally, you would see the other um, competition out there, like this uh, sport chassis and stuff. It's more of a flat um, dash here, but ours is more curved, so the driver could, you know, concentrate more on the road and be able to just. Uh, stretch his hand and not have to worry about his whole body reaching in to that uh, to control any of those switches it does come with the uh, Viper the Stinger sound system and that sound system does come with navigation AM FM radio satellite radio um, does come with navigation it does have Android and Apple Play capability so and Bluetooth technology so it's 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 fully loaded. Um, this truck does come with power windows. It does come with power locks, power mirrors, heated mirrors. We have the optional switch here. This is actually a switch for our back end of the truck. It does have lighting, so at night when you're ready to hook up your trailer, you could turn that switch on and those bright white LED lights will come on. Like I said, it does have heated mirrors. Um, your sport lights for that light I showed you guys earlier in the hood, that sport light is in here. Um, it does have a, a light test, so if you alone driving and hooking up to your trailers and stuff like that, and you want to test your lights out before you, you drive off to make sure your trailer lights work and your truck lights work, uh, this is a nice little feature added on to our trucks now. You could turn that switch on, take a walk outside, and then see, walk around your truck and your trailer and make sure all lights are working. Once you're done, you got to turn that switch off and um, your, your, all your lights on, all your settings will come back to normal. But it's a nice little feature to have if, you, if you're driving alone and you want to test all your lights out. It does have a rear suspension dump, so when you're backing into your trailers, you could actually dump the air on the rear of the truck and pull into your trailer. Once you're done, turn that switch back off and then all the air will return to, to the rear suspension. It does have a... Um, rear lock-in differential lock um, switch here. This is your Allison six-speed automatic transmission. Reverse drive, reverse <laughs> neutral and drive. Um, once you guys press on the brake, put that in reverse, push the air brake down, and you're ready to back that truck up. Um, put it in drive, put your, make sure uh, your air brake is down and you're ready to go. Um, when, you, when, you're ready, when you're ready to park, you put that in neutral, and then you pull that air brake, and then the truck is in park. It also comes with a trailer brake um, system here. So for hydraulic and electronic brakes, this system is right here. And of course, if your trailer has air brakes, this, uh, this truck does come pre hook up with uh, air brakes for your trailer. Um, we have glad handles in the package we're going to give you if you guys want to install those um, We could actually get it installed here as well or if you want to do it by yourself everything is pre Pre-done so all you guys got to do put those glad handles in a certain spot in the back end and of course um, Put your airlines on there and this is your air supply for that all your AC controls down here you also have rear AC controls up here as well, so um, you can control the, the rear of, the, of the, the cab to turn the switch on. Blue is for cold air, the red is for hot air, and center is off. This is the Voyager system I was showing you, I was telling you guys about with that camera in the back. If I just turn this uh, truck on for a minute, um, you'll see that Voyager system with that one camera hookup. So we could actually see what's going on on both sides of the trailer and what's going on, um, what the trailer is actually doing. So this stays on all the time while you drive, but if it's bothering you, you could actually turn that off by just the power button. Super easy. So um, it does come with a J-brake, so you have a high and low 
um, braking system, engine brake system. It does have cruise control, which is pretty awesome. Two different types of horn. You have your regular horn here on your steering wheel. And right above that, you have your string here for your air horn. And of course, a microphone for um, when you hooked up your Apple Play or your Bluetooth to the stereo system. This truck is, um, is on our website, uh, www.transwest.com. If you guys wanna go check this out, uh, the uh, actual stock number on this is 5N201097. So if you guys wanna go on the website and check this out, the price online does include FET tax. And FET tax has been on units like this since 1917. And that's, you're talking about World War I. So back then, um, the FET was only 3%. And of course, as you know, as the years go by, the, uh, the percentage went up. So right now we are at 12% on units like this, brand new. So buying a unit like this, the M2112 is brand new, will have that 12% added FET tax. So if you guys have questions about that and you guys wanna question me about what FET is and all that stuff, we'll be able to answer that question for you. But if you guys go online and see the price right now, the FET is already included in that price. So um, that's something you don't have to worry about. Um, it's already there. So if you guys have any questions about that, please give me a call today. Uh, my name is Marlon Bledman at 303. 684-3412 or you could call me or text me on my cell at 661-755-4344 or you could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com if you guys want any more information on this truck or any of our units on our on our lot so thank you guys again for tuning in thanks for the thumbs up thumbs down whatever the case may be we appreciate you guys watching our videos and um we'll be back here tomorrow with another amazing video with larry and i'll be back here with you again with you guys on friday um this time i'll bring to you guys that 4x4 version of our summit haulers so thank you guys for tuning in and i will see you guys friday and larry with you guys tomorrow thank you very much